Hello, this is Measurement Relationships 8.2, Perimeter and Area of Composite Figures. Now, a composite figure is made up of more than one simple shape. So simple shapes are circles, triangles, rectangles. They're basically shapes that we can get the perimeter and area of fairly easily, things that we are very familiar with. A composite figure actually combines them together to make a more complex shape, but still essentially made of these regular shapes. So if I take a look at my composite figure here, I'll notice that I have a triangle, a right triangle at that. I also have a rectangle going from here to here down to here. And out of that rectangle, I have a semicircle or half a circle that's been cut out. So right here. So this is a very uh, interesting complex uh, composite figure where I have both a triangle, I have a rectangle, and I also have to take into account a half a circle that's been cut out. So let's look at how these composite figures how they relate to both perimeter and area. Now my first question is, I want to find the perimeter, perimeter being the distance around the outside edge, and the area, which is the entire uh, entirety of the inside of this composite figure. Now I take a look at it, and the first thing I notice is it's not a regular shape. I have one side that's 23 centimeters and the other side that's 15 but the base is a constant 27. So I look and I see that if I cut across it right here, like so, I have a triangle. I also have a rectangle underneath. So I essentially have two, one, two very regular shapes. So first thing I want to do is I want to find the perimeter. Now, the perimeter will be equal to all the distance around. So it will be equal to 15 plus 27 plus 23. Plus this side right here, C, which I don't know. So I have to find out what C is. And if you remember the last lesson, where we had right angle triangles, we could find the hypotenuse, which is essentially what C is, from the squares of both the other sides. So my bottom, I have 27, so 27 for the base here, and the distance between here and here will be 23 minus 15, which is equal to 8 centimeters. So. I can just put in c squared equal to a squared plus b squared. My a squared is 27 squared, and my b squared is 8 squared. So c squared is equal to 729 centimeters squared and 64 centimeters squared. Add them together, I get 793 centimeters squared, square both sides, and I get C equal to 28.2 centimeters. So C equal to 28.2 centimeters. So therefore, I can figure out my perimeter. 15 plus 27 plus 23 plus 28.2 gives me a grand total of, let's see, ninety-three point two. So that's my perimeter of this composite figure. Now what about the area? So the area will essentially, if I just move this over, the area 
will be the total between the area of my triangle, which is 1, plus the area of my rectangle 2. So the triangle 1 is going to be base times height divided by 2, that's the area of a triangle, and my rectangle will be my length times width. So the base of this triangle is 27, right here. And I've already figured it out, the height is 8 centimeters. So I'm only looking at the height between here and here, this height. So 27 centimeters times 8 centimeters divided by 2. I'm just going to extend the page. Plus my length times width. Well, my length is the same as my base, which is 27. And my width is 15. So 8 times 27 divided by 2 gives me 108 centimeters squared. And 27 times 15 is 405 centimeters squared for a grand total of 513 centimeters squared as the area for my composite figure. So my composite figure is essentially a rectangle and a triangle on top. But what happens if I have different sort of shapes, not necessarily all amalgamated together? Let's take a look at this next composite shape. I want to find the perimeter area of this composite shape. And looking at it straight off, I notice a curve going down like this. And that's a semicircle. I also have what should have been a rectangle, but it's been cut out of this semicircle right here. So my two shapes are a rectangle and a semicircle. But in this case, the semicircle doesn't comprise the figure. It is being cut out of it. So to find my perimeter, I'm going to have to add the 12 here plus the 8 here. There will be another 12 on this side. And then I have kind of this kind of red, blue, little red line right here out of this length, whatever it is. And this is essentially equal to half of the circumference of whatever this circle would be. So, so circumference is equal to pi times the diameter, but in this case it's going to be one half, because I have half a circle, pi times the diameter. So my perimeter, P, is going to equal to, and I'm going to call this the length, L plus 12 plus 8 plus another 12. L is equal to 1 half pi times the diameter. 1 half times 3.14 times the diameter, which is 8 centimeters. And that's going to give me a total of 12.6 centimeters. So therefore, if I calculate my perimeter, I have 12.6 plus 12 plus 8 plus 12, which gives me a grand total of 44.6 centimeters as my perimeter. So all I had to do was figure out this side, then this side, then this side, and then just add in what the length of this curve will be, which is half of the circumference. Now as far as area goes, and I'll just erase this right now, as far as the area, well, I have my first area, which is essentially the area occupied by the rectangle, and then I have a second area that's been cut out of that rectangle. So my total is 
going to be the area of my rectangle 1. Subtract the area of that semicircle, or half a circle on the top. Because it's been cut out, I have to subtract it. So, again, my total area in my area of my rectangle will be base, time, base times height, length times width. Subtract the area of my half circle. Well, the area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. So the area of half a circle will be half pi r squared. And r, if you remember, is the distance between the center and any outside point. So r is equal to 4. So here I have 1 half pi r squared. Here, length times width, 12 times 8. Minus 1 half times 3.14 times 4 squared. 96 centimeters squared. This up here. Subtract 1 half 3.4 times 4 squared, which is going to be equal to 25.1 centimeters squared. Same units. Subtract them, and I get 70.9 centimeters squared as the area of this composite figure, which I'll just do it right here. So this whole area is 70.9 centimeters. So the key thing to remember with these composite figures is their amalgamation of two or more regular shapes. We just have to be able to identify them and then apply the appropriate formulas to solve either their perimeter or area.